Hello and welcome to this video all about vertically stacked dimensions. So I noticed that when you do a create new world we get this dimension stack. So I've got a few different dimensions here, right? So actually this is, this is a lot simpler than I thought it would, would be. So what we can do is we can stack the dimensions however we want. So let's try overworld and nether, okay. Interestingly they, that's got a little T so I guess they, they go together, right? Okay, so we want to put the end below, I guess, right? Then we'll put the ether below that, and the hunting dimension below that. I'm not sure if it will loop around. Uh, I wonder what this edit dimension business is. Okay, so we can change the ceiling portal height, terrain transitions. Wow, cool. There seems to be a lot of different options. Remove bedrock. Let's try removing... Interesting. A lot of options for this. This seems quite uh, substantial, actually. Should we try remove bedrock on all of them? I'm curious to see what that would be like. And it would be a good, nice little test, right? Remove bedrock. Remove bedrock. Okay, that one already has uh, bedrock removed. Remove bedrock, yes. Okay, so this, we'll go into creative. Uh, so that should be all set, right? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, interesting. So this block is a special block. Um, see, this is called a transition portal. So this is where how you separate the layers. Okay, so now we're at 125 in the nether. And there's also some transition blocks there. I wonder if we go back up. Yep. Cool. You can see my Y coordinate is the same. What was that block? A barrier. Interesting. Okay. Let's go down anyway. Working with this. Didn't even know that block existed, the dense nether coat. One for you guys. Watch my pyrotech spotlight. It's pretty sick. Wait, wait, wait. This one doesn't look like he's got any... What is that there? Why is it glowstone at this level? I think maybe you have to go through these guys. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's fine. No, this is actually the real end. <laughs> All right. So then we had that hunting. Then we had the ether in the hunting dimension, right? Okay. Let's see if it's at the bottom of the end. Okay, so this is definitely the ether, right? Looks like it. But do we get to the hunting dimension underneath here, though? Let's have a look at the bottom of the ether. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? This is the hunting dimension. Yep. 
But the thing I was wondering about is do we then, if we go underneath the hunting dimension, it really does work well, you know. I really was surprised, I'm surprised it actually works as well as this. Zoom torches. I, I don't know if they're brighter. This was what I was thinking at the beginning. Does it loop around, right? For some reason, some of it has... I did say no bedrock. Um, but between, I think between the nether and the uh, overworld, they just put the portal in there anyway. Yeah, you see, this is the problem. It doesn't loop. I mean, I still I end up in the overworld, but that's not how you want to end up in the overworld, right? 